The only thing that would really make it better is if I had some of that New Zealand deer antler velvet. Then my night would be complete. It is a recent controversy, even though it's been around forever. 2,000 years in China they've been using the velvet from deer antlers for medicinal purposes. And then the other day we had the big story about Hugh Jackson, the new coach of the Oakland Raiders, was ordered by the NFL to not be associated with a supplement company that was selling this product, which is now in spray form and has been, and a lot of NFL players have acknowledged using it. The NFL now has banned it. Guys like Roy Williams and Ray Lewis said they swear by it. And the burning question is, why is the NFL banned it? Joining right now is Dr. Bruce Fong. He joins us right now from Neutronics Laboratories, a maker of these products. And he, he joins us to tell us why he thinks it shouldn't be banned in the National Football League. Dr. Fong, appreciate some time tonight. Thank you, sir. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. So IGFI stands for Insulin-Like Growth Factor 1. That's the ingredient that's in question right now, right? Right. And uh, I guess basically the, uh, you know, listening to your uh, intro getting into this, yeah, the big deal is that the, you get this velvet deer antler extract. It has a lot of good stuff in it, but the primary thing is IGF-1. Insulin-like growth factor 1 is essentially our workhorse from, uh, from our bodies. We, we produce a, a substance we call human growth hormone in the pituitary gland in our brain, it gets out into our system. It's sort of a master control hormone, but what most people don't understand is that most of its benefits come from when it's converted in the liver to become something called IGF-1. The IGF-1 then has numerous effects uh, and benefits throughout the whole body. Uh, I could go on all night about all those different effects, but I guess I'll focus in on you know some of the uh, main issues that we, most people recognize is that it helps with uh, you know muscle building and helps to repair and uh, you know uh, potential damage when you're working out too hard. It helps to uh, you know it build your endurance. It can do things to help your heart, your uh, lungs. Uh, really a lot of good stuff here from a compound that's naturally occurring in your body. And being able to process the velvet deer antler, we are able to actually pull a, uh, a very natural compound, this growth factor, uh, from these deer. Uh, the uh, antlers themselves, uh, most people aren't aware of this, but these deer have antlers that literally sprout in about 90 days from nothing to having these racks that are, you should be probably considered like a deadly weapon. Uh, I mean, these things are gigantic. And there's all these growth factors inside of that. And, you know, you want to harvest this stuff at a very specific time to maximize your ability to grit these growth hormones and uh, or growth factors. And I think that, that that's really the key to this whole thing is that when you can process it at a proper time, you're finding that that velvet uh, deer antler is still in a what we call a cartilaginous state. So in other words, it's still kind of soft. It's still got a lot of this blood flow and blood, uh, you know, volume in there that allows you to to show that you have all these factors that you can harvest. Well, doctor, we know we all know that you can go into any GNC. I mean, I take supplements. I take CLA, which is a naturally occurring. Uh, conjugated l- linol, what's it, What's the actual term for it? CLA. Lin- linoleic acid. Right, and that's something that's in your body. It's not really, uh, it's not a human growth hormone. It's something that naturally occurs, but as we get older, it's not in the in the uh, amounts that we're used to as we get young. So why does the NFL consider this? It's not a steroid. It's something that occurs in our body, and why is it that they don't like this and it's banned now in the National Football League, even though you can't detect it in a test from what I understand? Right, right. Actually, I've given a lot of thought to this, and you know, frankly, if I was the NFL, I would like to see you know a, a level of you know e- 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 equality there. I mean, everybody doesn't have anything that's putting them above one level or another. Kind of like you know when you talk about stock car racing, you're supposed to have the cars all the same way. But what we uh, we're, we're trying to say here is that the NFL is concerned about somebody using this as a performance enhancement. Whereas, you know, we, we, we have a lot of other arguments to the other side of this. But, you know, at the same time, I can't say that this is not a necessarily a performance enhancement because anything you take in your body, I mean, you go buy a protein powder like you say at a health food store or take, um, you know, uh, 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 chromium or one of these other supplements that, you know, a lot of the bodybuilders and the athletes already know about, 
you know, frankly, even though that's, you know, a natural compound, they are, you know, even just plain old protein or taking magnesium, for instance, which is not a banned substance as far as I know of, uh, the natural mineral, you could be enhancing yourself in one way or another. So, frankly, I just don't really see a, a big issue with that. However, here's a, a really interesting point I can make to you. If I was the NFL, I would look at this and say to myself, well, here, I'm investing all this money in these players. And, and at one point, it made me question whether or not I want to be a doctor, because these guys are making a hell of a lot more money than I am. But anyway, we're not going to go there. <laughs> uh, but the point is that, you know, you gave them these guys all these contracts for multi-millions of dollars. Don't you want to protect your investment? Because you had a compound here that not only helps you to build muscle, but it helps to protect your, your body in general. It helps to repair damage to these muscles when you work out too hard. There's a phenomenon that was identified by a Russian uh, trainer, doctor, who was part of their Olympic teams to build their guys up, who identified that when athletes worked out way too hard, they actually developed a electrolyte, meaning you know things like sodium, potassium, etc., uh, imbalances in muscles, including the muscles of the heart, which could lead to all kinds of problems, including, a, you, you know, if you think about it, if it's in the heart, even sudden death, which is obviously not a good thing. <laughs> the, what they found was using these uh, extracts from the velvet deer antler, along with a couple other things, they were actually able to recover these folks in less than uh, two-thirds of the time it would normally require to recover these folks. And as research continued to go on to there, we found that these compounds not only helped you to build muscles, but they allowed you to increase the oxygen utilization in the muscle. It allowed you to repair the minor tissue damage that's typically associated with this. And another huge factor, which a lot of people aren't aware of, is when you work out that hard, guess what? You're actually making your immune system uh, potentially uh, a little less capable of protecting you because of the damage you're doing uh, in those areas. You could actually be prone to certain kinds of infection, and this compound actually helps with that as well. Uh, otherwise, it has a very strong anti-inflammatory effect from various things, including something called chondroitin sulfate A. Uh, there's, I, uh, you know, it, the other huge thing uh, is that this uh, compound actually works along with insulin to reduce the rate of protein breakdown, meaning that you won't break down your muscle as quickly. And uh, w what's really cool is it also allows you to build that muscle with more lean mass because it shifts your utilization of fuels from using just sugar to using more of the fat. So you literally burn up more fat to allow that muscle to actually repair itself with more of a muscular mind, uh, so to speak. Dr. Bruce Fong with Neutron Neutronics Labs. They make this IGF-1 product. All right, doctor, here's the question. It's not a steroid, which everybody knows with the baseball issues and all the steroid era and guys getting bigger, stronger. It's not a drug. It's not dangerous. So why is it banned? Well, again, I think my, my, my biggest would, uh, concern was that the, the NFL would say that it would give certain players an advantage because of the ability to help you to train and develop that much faster. Uh, you know, we, we, even in people who aren't professional athletes, you see gains of endurance, uh, muscle mass, muscle uh, strength, in other words, the ability to carry on more work with that. Um, you know, it, it literally is a recovery promoter. Uh, it can help you to recover from injuries a lot quicker. Uh, you know, again, I think that the NFL is seeking some equality level. However, uh, you know, again, as I was saying earlier, when they want to protect their actual investment and maybe, you know, frankly, let it be used by all the players. I mean, this is, again, a naturally occurring compound that we have in our bodies. We're simply putting a little bit more of it in there, uh, allowing our bodies to take care of itself. I mean, literally uh, the way that God meant us to kind of be able to be protected. But doctor, let me ask you this now, because we know that the urine tests that they administer in Major League Baseball and the NFL cannot catch a lot of the supplements that have uh, things in it that the NFL doesn't want players taking, and unless there's a blood test, you can't detect this. So players are going to continue to use this, whether it's banned or not, if they can't see that it's in the guys, right? It, well, that's how I would feel. It's that players probably will use it and the beauty about this is, again, there's very few, uh, you know, uh, documented uh, side effects of any significance with the, with, with the compound. In fact, very, pretty much nothing, except maybe an upset stomach. Um, the only study that, ever, uh, that I came across was uh, somebody who fed the equivalent of you or I uh, eating half a pound of this stuff for every day for 90 days, and the, the mice that they were checking 
had slightly smaller livers when they did uh, autopsies on them at the end. Well, I mean, they basically killed the mice, and the, the, the compound didn't do that. But the fact is, that's the only thing that was ever shown. And at that point, you know, like I said, the uh, the effect of the upset stomach would probably stop you from taking this. Uh, it's been shown to be uh, highly effective and very safe at uh, you know several, three, four, five, even ten times the normal uh, recommended doses without any ill effects that we've seen. All right, doctor. For fans out there who you know who don't like the, I mean, most fans don't care. If athletes want to get bigger and stronger and hit the ball farther and run and tackle harder and play, that's why we watch sports. These are the athletes. They're going out to take care of their bodies. As long as they're not doing anything that's making them freaks, I think the average person says, hey, this is what they have to do. They're athletes. Where do we draw the line now? Because you know there are a lot of uh, labs out there coming, and this deer antler stuff has been around for 2,000 years in China, so it's not a new discovery. There are a lot of ancient potions and lotions and creams that have been used all over the world that we're finally starting to process into nutrients and and supplements in this country that everybody's going to say, wait a minute, that's wrong, that's bad. Where do we draw the line on what's good and what's bad for athletes to help them play better and get stronger and do whatever it is they need to do to stay on the field? Well, as a physician, my first thing is to say that we should never do any harm. So if an athlete's taking something that in the long run is going to cause them to have problems, say, with uh, you know, uh, their liver, their other vital organs, or causes them to uh, be, uh, for instance, uh, be able to uh, you know, use the uh, lack of a better term, burning out a lot quicker, where they're uh, eventually going to suffer more damage as a result of uh, trying to get stronger or bigger, I think that's, that's one area where I would draw the line. Now, obviously, somebody who's taking something to the point where they're, you know, just, uh, as you said, becoming freakishly uh, in, in head and shoulders above everybody else where you're making it very unfair, uh, I think that that is an issue. Uh, but I think that the main point where I would draw a line is where that performance enhancement, if you want to call it, is c- creating a health hazard for the athletes themselves. Dr. Bruce Frong, he's with the NeutronicsLabs.com. You can check it out. They make out the, they make this product, and he doesn't believe it's dangerous for NFL players or professional athletes, even though it's banned by the NFL. Dr. Fong, appreciate some time tonight. Thank you, sir, for the explanation. Thank you very much for having me on. Dr. Bruce Fong, there you have it, Tim. My question is, where do I get this stuff? That's a good question. I need to get some of this. Sounds like it's good for you. Sounds like it's good for me. I put it in a little squirt in my red wine tonight with a little chocolate, and bam! Now, do they send you, like, the antlers themselves? No, 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 no. they they do all that work. Yeah, no, you don't take the deer home. Um, uh, Tony, I I can tell you where to get it. You don't go into the woods and look for Bambi and then say, hey, Bambi, stop it right there. Let me get some of that velvet off your antlers. You you can get it at (laughs) Neutronicslabs.com. Oh, I know you can.